Minder, please. Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salaam. Arusa, please have a seat. Thank you, sir. How are you, Arusa? I'm I'm good, sir. Thank you. And how was this day? You had enjoyed the sunny day? Yeah. You came from Multan? Yes, sir. Khanewal. All right. So, Arusa, please uh, tell us about yourself. My name is Arusa Ruj. I am from Khanewal. Uh, my father was Tehsil Officer Finance in TMA Mia Chanu. My mother was a government uh, retired teacher. I have five siblings. Among them, I'm the youngest one. Uh, my early education till graduation is from Khanewal itself. Then I moved to uh, uh, Bahaudin Zikri University, Multan. I have completed my MSc and MPhil in Mathematics from uh, Zikri University, Multan. Um, then I served in GC University, Faisalabad, Sahiwal subcampus for one year. I also served APS school and college Rawalpindi for one year as a mathematics lecturer. Uh, I got married in 2019. Currently, I'm living in Rawalpindi with my husband. I'm mother of a one son of one year old. Um, uh, in my distinction, I stood first in Young Scholar Award in Caspam International Conference that held in 2017, November 2017. Uh, my hobbies include singing and uh, counseling of the youngsters regarding their academic careers. I am the first one from my family who has not only uh, studied at university level but also uh, served at university level. And I am the first one from my area and subcast and family who has uh, compa- who has qualified this comparative exam not only once but twice. That's great. So, uh, Arusa, who was father of mathematics? Uh, while talking about mathematician, it was the Abu Al Musa Al Khawarizmi. Okay, and what is the l- biggest achievement or discovery in mathematics till till date? Uh, so there are a lot of uh, the uh, discoveries that have been uh, considered under mathematics, but the uh, we have seen the the cryptography, the Alan Turing who, who has made uh, who has uh, uh, combated it. Uh, so the world war in world war 2 uh, the alliance power has uh, uh, combated against the nazi germany and alan turing has worked on decryption of the codes that nazi was that nazi had made so by using the cryptography and the discrete mathematics he has uh, helped the alliance power in order to break that rule this is the greatest met- uh, uh, advancement we can see in the mathematics okay who was the last person who got nobel prize in mathematics I'm sorry, sir. I do not know about it, but I know that there is no uh, 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 prize that has been made on the basis of mathematics itself. But it would it can be on the basis of the other uh, sciences uh, like the physics and mathematics. The combination of two uh, subject like mathematics, computer science, as I have told Alan Turing, who has used mathematics in the computer sciences. So it was not only the mathematics, but also the combination of the other sciences. Including have, mathematics. Have you seen the movie The Beautiful Mind? Uh, no, sir. You should. Then you will get to know the Nobel Prize. Right, sir. Okay. Mathematics is called the mother of all sciences. Right, sir. Why? Sir, mathematics uh, gives us an aspect in order to view the other sciences uh, in a broad way. For example, if we see in physics, we have a lot of uh, uh, branches in physics that can be derived from mathematics like the we uh, uh, talking about the simple that is the inclined plane that is working on the Pythagoras theorem that is taken from the mathematics then comes the chemistry it is it is also having one, one other the branch that is the physical chemistry in physical chemistry we used to do the derivation integration and other kind of things so uh, in e- economics we have calculations and counting so other uh, in many other fields of the sciences that can be generated from the uh, concepts of the mathematics that uh, include all right so you haven't written your group preferences in pms so in uh, pms there is no uh, group preferences we have been pms and eto there are two groups uh, yes sir it was basically one the uh, uh, that is the assistant commissioner pms officer and the second is the excise du- uh, duty that the, that okay. would be that would be the second uh, what what is the difference between <coughs> federal taxation and provincial taxation so federal taxation, there are some certain subjects that comes under the federal government and there are some certain subjects that comes under the provincial uh, uh, government and they have to uh, uh, they have to collect the revenue on the basis of that. For example, in 18th Amendment, we are having two uh, lists that is the provincial list and the federal list. The federal is going to collect the revenue on the basis of those subjects and the provincial is going to uh, collect the, for example, the education and the other uh, and the federal excise duty that is basically comes under the federal government. 
they are going to collect in their respective list. Good. What is difference between direct and indirect tax? If you allow me to have a guess on it, mm -hmm. uh, sir, direct taxes are those tax that have been made uh, upon the public on the basis of the commodities like the uh, the sales tax, general sales tax, uh, like the if we are going to purchase a commodity, for example, the soap and the tea, uh, those tax are placed on the direct one and the indirect are basically uh, uh, according to your wealth that you are owning or the property that you are owning on the basis of that indirect indirect tax are those. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. CSS PMS तहरीरी इम्तिहान के तमाम मजामी की ऑनलाइन और ऑन कैंपस तैयारी के साथ साथ सब्जेक्ट सिलेक्शन असाइनमेंट चेकिंग क्लास टेस्ट मॉक एग्जाम इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक्स ऐसी बने मैरी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी okay. you are quite far from the concept the first which you told is indirect tax right sir and direct tax which is levied on your income right sir basically this is my mistake punjabi was your one of your uh, optional subjects yes sir right so any couplet from varish shah you yes, remember sir. yes sir please शेखुपुरा How many tehsils are in Khanewal district Khanewal so there are four tehsil in Khanewal Khanewal itself uh, uh, Mian Channu uh, Kabirwala and the fourth one is uh, uh, that is uh, uh, Jahania Jahania and what is the basic economy of Khanewal what is the main profession of people belonging to Khanewal so they are involved in the agriculture sector most of the people like the cotton it is called as the cotton belt area uh, 71 cotton uh, factories are in khanewal so uh, they the mostly people are attached towards the uh, with this uh, agriculture uh, 80% we can say they are associated with the cotton uh, industry okay and uh, other agricultural products some so tea manufacturing tea yes sir i show tea as in uh, Sir, according Drinking to district, tea. yes, sir. So its production is over there. Like uh, according to the district profile that has been given on the in two thousand eighteen, we have seen this. The tea manufacture uh, manufacturing was also there in Khanewal. That is also associated with it. Oh, tea manufacturing, tea tea can't be manufactured. Sir, that's basically in agriculture. Sir, unki jo seeds jo growth hai that is over there. Iski contribution hai, sir. That's it. News for me because Khanewal terrain and topography does not suit tea cultivation. Anyhow, who is this favorite personality of yours, Maryam Mukhtar? Sir, Maryam Mukhtar was a fighter pilot. She was uh, uh, my, she is a retired uh, first female fighter pilot in okay. Pakistan. That Maryam. So why why she is your favorite? Sir, sure, she was the first one who has bro broken the gender stereotypes that. she has proved that that the careers have no gender like in uh, before that we are having many of the people who have uh, served armed forces and got martyred but she was the first one in pakistan air force that we used to see that uh, aircrafts and these kind of things are not like for made for the female they are restrained to the household but she has proved them wrong and she has like proved herself that women can do anything in their lives what does your spouse do so he is uh, uh, doing in a uh, job in pakistan army as a major so if you get selected and you get posted to some place yes sir how would you manage your family sir we have already discussed about this that uh, as we are going to perform the equal gender role that i if i am going to perform my gender role uh, the, there uh, there he is going to uh, perform his gender role like in my absence he is going to take care of the family and if he won't be over there i would be take care uh, take care of my family so well, let's say you are posted in vihari yes sir he is posted in pindi yes, how would you manage the family sir family would be along with me at that time 
and but sir also we are having the uh, a wedding uh, uh, that is i'm not i'm basically forgetting the name of that act there is an act in punjab that is the policy. wedlock yes sir wedlock policy that can be applied over there and secondly in army they also compensate the officers to live along with their families so he can be shifted in, into that uh, district that that would be uh, his transfer would be the uh, on the favor of the family uh, pursuits okay thank you sir thank you sir Okay, sir, uh, you read you did MPhil in mathematics. Yes, sir. Can you tell briefly what is logic and what is empiricism? These are two different philosophies. What is logic? Sir, so logic is basically. Uh, I'm sorry, I won't be able to explain it. I know it, but I cannot. This is basically uh, regarding deduction and de induction, but I am not able to explain it. What is empiricism? Or what is empirical evidence? I'm sorry, I cannot. Okay. Well, uh, recently, you have discussed the virus shock. This is the virus shock. This is the virus shock. This is the virus shock. So, here is the virus shock. So, basically, it was a character, fictional character. That is the main character. The whole story revolves around the virus shock. So, basically, it was a character, fictional character. That is the main character. Uh, that according uh, the varishya wanted to uh, expand the uh, the the socio political and cultural aspect of the punjab through uh, the uh, feelings of uh, here and through the emotions and all all the custom tradition that was uh, uh, explained uh, by uh, varishya in that uh, character whole story uh, revolves around the here give your career a boost with css pms preparation from civil services preparatory school join css pms for on campus and online classes join us for your bright future civil services preparatory school jitan markaz islamabad register now at 0316 570 1593thin uh, water channel that connects two uh, water the major water bodies for example okay two uh, major water bodies like uh, black sea and mediterranean sea are uh, attached with uh, which strait so if you allow me to uh, see this like this is not uh, black this is the red sea red and mediterranean are sea are the swiss okay. canal you are talking about no it's okay टर्की में कौन कौन सी स्टेट्स हैं जो ब्लैक सी को मेडिटेरियन सी के साथ कनेक्ट करती हैं कैन यू नेम द कंट्रीज सिचुएटेड अराउंड द बाल्टिक सी यस सर सर एस्टोनिया लैटविया लिथुआनिया और बाल्कन सी स्टेट्स सो बाल्कन दैट इज द ओके व्हाट इज गल्फ Sir, Gulf is the just like as the Strait, but it is in the larger uh, like. Uh, And what is Bay? So Bay is more larger than that, I guess. This is more larger. Sir, so Bay, uh, sir, so it's basically depends upon the shape. If we are having the Gulf, that is Can the Gulf. Can you name some Gulf? Yes, sir, Gulf of Mexico. And not Persian Gulf. Can you leave any other Gulf? Tell me. Gulf of Mexico. I am just reminding this one. And again, Bay. Can you tell me? Bay of Bengal. 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 Ke ilawa. Um, I'm sorry, I cannot. Okay, uh, can you tell me something about the sedimentary rocks? Yes, sir. Sedimentary rocks are those rocks that are basically formed by the lithification. Name some sedimentary rocks. Sir, limestone. Limestone. And a met metamorphic rocks. Sir, metamorphic rocks are those rocks when they go through the um, higher pressure and temperature, they used to become the metamorphic. They are basically changed in the form. For example, when limestones goes under the higher pressure and temperature, it, be it would become some marble. Okay, Arusha, uh, tell me something about the rise of Hindu nationalism. Sir, Hindu nationalism. Yes. What is Hindu nationalism? Sir, What is nationalism basically? Sir, nationalism is basically the philosophy or ideology that basically uh, is drive that is driven on the basis of some persons, uh, the on the basis of their ethnicity, their culture, their. tradition custom and more specifically the whole nation or it can be the religious one as well so hindu nationalism is that philosophy that uh, that is driven from the hinduism and uh, what did you know about swami dayanand 
हु वॉज स्वामी दयानंद आई आई डोट नो राजा राम मोहन राय आपको जानती है उनको सर आई हैड अबाउट हिज नेम दैट इन बट ही डिड फॉर द राइज ऑफ हिंदू नेशनलिज्म आई हैव हर्ड जस्ट हिज नेम दैट आई डोंट रिमेंबर राइट नाउ ओके व्हाट इज मुस्लिम नेशनलिज्म सर मुस्लिम नेशनलिज्म इज दैट इज दिस अगेन इज द आइडियोलॉजी दैट इज डिवन फ्रॉम द मुस्लिम the basically that is based upon the muslim rights and uh, they wanted to get the uh, the proper uh, the state was basically the major aim or objective to uh, uh, for the muslim society they would they would be living over there without any restriction or uh, uh, without any freedom of the on the religion based or any uh, the religious practice they would be able to do without any uh, uh, stereotypes or some kind of the restriction and restraint that would be performed by the in in during the uh, subcontinent bit indian bit uh, indian what is divide and rule so divide and rule is basically the uh, it was the uh, important chant that was been played by the hindu uh, during uh, that this pakistan and indian movement uh, they wanted britisher to divide pakistan so muslim and Indi- uh, hindus and they should quit this uh, india okay now i'll uh, ask token question when kaid e azam joined all india muslim league it was in 1914 1914 and when kaid e azam joined indian national congress i'm not sure about it when he resigned so it was about after the uh, 1919 it was kaid e azam 14 points kab present kiye the 1929 29 mein my last question के 14 पॉइंट्स में जो सबको याद रह जाता है कि सिंध को बॉम्बे से अलहदा किया जाए वट सिग्निफिकेंस लाइज बिहाइंड दिस डिमांड बेसिकली देर वॉज द प्रोविंशियल अटोनमी बिहाइंड दैट सिंध को बॉम्बे से क्यों अटैच करना था किया कि, क्यों किया गया था ओके थैंक यू ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड ना ऑल रिक्वेस्ट टू सर Okay, so beta, you belong to Khanewal. Yes, sir. Okay, so what is Khanewal famous for? Sir, Khanewal, uh, the name is basically de- uh, on the basis of the Khan ke wal, and the, this is very uh, uh, the uh, there was a very famous clan Khans on the name of those people. The the this the Muhammad Khan Daha and those uh, people on the on the name of those people this district was named. They, they were the earlier settler of the Khanewal. The second thing that Khanewal is important for the railway junction. That is the second one, the, the Wazirabad uh, and uh, the railway junction that connects Wazirabad and the second. I am forgetting the name. The second uh, uh, largest railway junction in Pakistan, in Khanewal does have. Okay, what is the total population of Khanewal? So that is, uh, if you allow me to guess, that is. Uh, uh so th- that is 2 million okay so you have done your mphil in maths from bahudan zikri university multan yes, who is the vc of bzu sir currently i do not know but uh, previously when i have done my mphil in mathematics it was i have also forgotten his name now what is the difference between pure maths and applied maths yes sir sir a pure maths basically deals with the algebra that is the most theoretical aspect of the mathematics and in applied mathematics we used to do apply the uh, the theory on the real world phenomena you have mentioned alan turing yes sir you remember that yes sir okay what is the difference between cryptography and stenography so i haven't heard about stenography but i just only know the crypto uh, cryptography okay so what was the code uh, that was broken by alan turing can you name that machine that generated that code so it was named as turing it was on based upon the turing test what was enigma uh, i don't know sir that was the machine he was trying to break okay. okay so do you have any idea who was the first male cryptographer of pakistan i'm sorry sir i don't know okay so name any productive scientist from your department who has won the productive scientist of the year award in mathematics so can i name myself <laughs> okay congratulations was <laughs> a mathematics mein productive scientist nahi hota wo generally sab ke liye istemal hota hai right, okay congratulations well done so i was expecting uh, you could know about sir, cryptography as well uh, sir i got first prize in young scholar award that was the year award and uh, while doing i have uh, if you allow me to that i uh, made a mathematical model on a disease 
and I uh, won first prize in CASPOM International Conference. On so, the have you done your uh, specialization in fluid or cryptography? So, it was basically applied mathematics, not on the uh, cryptography, but it was my uh, model was based upon the ordinary differential equations. I used that ordinary differential equation and I have uh, made a model on a disease that was named as the tick bone encephalitis. So why did you tell it in your introduction? So I told that I got the first prize in Young Scholar Award. I didn't pay attention. Young Scholar Award. Okay. Your optional of geography. Do you know something about meridian line? Mediterranean? Meridian line. Yes, sir. Prime meridian line. That is basically the, uh, that divides the map, world map into two parts. This is the angular moment. On the basis of the angular momentum, it divides the, uh, the, uh, the world into two parts. That is the west and the uh, east. And whenever, uh, on every degree, whenever we move from the uh, west to uh, uh, east, we get one hour distance from that line. The okay, primary where is that zero meridian? So in the Greenwich Mean Time in London. Greenwich Mean Time, okay. What is meant by AM or PM? Sir, uh, that is um, anti-meridian and prime meridian. Can you tell me the difference between lagoon and lake? Sir, I only know about the lake. Where is that mountain range? Nilgris. Which sir? Nilgris. I don't know. No. Okay, so seldom is the case. Uh, I found a mathematician so fluent in English language. So, in maths, you suppose things. Let x be equal to a and y be equal to b. You use a specific conditional sentence. What type of conditional sentence do you use when you suppose things? I'm sorry, I cannot remind right now, sir. Okay, thank you very much. What is the announcement? Thank you, Arusa. Your formal part of interview is over. So, we'll have now an informal discussion regarding feedback of your interview. Right, yes, sir. Uh, you are confident, communication skill is good, spoken is good, but aapne, you dropped way too many questions, way too many. Yes, so, you have at least your optional and your mathematics and your district. Hai, yes, sir. You have to command this. These are given areas. In the interview panel, you can start with the fact that the people who are in Balochistan are in the world. They are in Pakistan. They can ask about anything. Yes, sir. But what you have to say is that you have to say at least that you have to say that certain level of abur hona chahiye right sir theek hai basic basic sawal aapne drop kiye hain jo ki i was not expecting aap mashallah mfil bhi ho itne arse se public exposure mein padha bhi rahe ho and this is your second attempt successful attempt we wish you all the best so is in cheezon ko jitna time abhi aapke paas reh gaya hai inko mazid aap jo hai na wo uh, solidify kare right so that ke aapke jo given areas hain at least wahan se a question aapka drop na ho Right. You favorite personality in Abdul Sitar. So, uh, I was saying that you had to drop question. So, you have to write at right. least that. Right. Sir. Thank you, sir. You have to have communication skills. Confidence of your sir. You have to discuss it. Remember, the interview atmosphere is not a good thing. You have to relax. 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 Basically, we wanted to give you a difficult task so that you can prepare yourself a little bit. It's possible that it's a very short time. Right, sir. And now, sir, tell me about your administrative job. Right, sir. Your profile of district. Right, sir. You have to do your job with your mathematics and your degree, and your university, and your optionals. Right, sir. You have to see the geography. You have to study the geography a little bit. जैसे कि तमाम सीज हैं ये बे है इसमस है इस तरह की चीजें जो है ना वो थोड़ी-थोड़ी सी ठीक है आपने कुछ अच्छे आंसर भी किए रॉक से रिलेटेड पाकिस्तान अफेयर्स आपका बहुत ठीक है सर पाकिस्तान अफेयर्स आई हैव बीन प्रिपेयर्ड लाइक मुझे लास्ट टाइम सब जो मैंने इंटरव्यू दिया था तो उन्होंने दे हैव फोकस्ड ऑन आवर जस्ट ये सर मेरे एजुकेशन से रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चंस थे और मेरे ऑप्शंस पे ज्यादा था तो पाकिस्तान अफेयर्स और करंट अफेयर्स दे डिडंट गो सो मच फॉर ऑन इट मे बी वो कुछ भी अभी सर ने बताया कि आई हैव टू अभी मैंने करना इंशाल्लाह वो चीजें भी हैं वो ये तो कंपल्सरी सब्जेक्ट है जी सर रहा है सबका पूछ सकते हैं कुछ भी तो बस इन चीजों को अपनी एनर्जी को बहाल करें आपको पहले भी एक्सपीरियंस है uh, this is from my side. Now I request to Alicia Sorry. Absab, he'll explain you. 
अच्छा बेटा मैथमेटिक्स जब कहते हैं तो बकवास जरा बढ़ जाती है ठीक हो गया सो मैथ्स तो थोड़ा सा यूनिवर्सिटी के बारे में पता कर लें ठीक है वी कौन है किस वक्त ये बनी है इट्स ए हिस्टोरिकल यूनिवर्सिटी और दूसरा देखिए आपने जिस वक्त ये बात कर दी एलन ट्यूरिंग की और क्रिप्टोग्राफी की तो आपने सिग्नल दे दिया इसको मतलब कि आपको इसके बारे में पता है जी सर ठीक है सो एलन ट्यूरिंग के बारे में थोड़ी सी रिसर्च कर लें आप ठीक है एक बड़ी अच्छी उसके बारे में एक मूवी भी जो है वो भी आई है दी इमिटेशन गेम उसको ही देख लें अगर आप पढ़ नहीं सकते उस पर चार्जेस क्या लगे थे और वो फिर पोस्ट थी उसको पार्डन भी किया गया सो एनिगमा वो मशीन थी जिसका कोड ब्रेक उसने किया ठीक है क्रिप्टोग्राफी है तो अगर आपने वन काइंड ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स या जिसमें आप टाइप कह लें ठीक है उसकी जिक्र किया तो स्टेग्नोग्राफी को भी देख लें सो ये एक चेन पूरी एक चलती है दूसरा जरा कॉन्फिडेंट होके बताएं आई वॉन्ट दी प्रोडक्टिव साइंटिस्ट ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड किस साल में मिला सर ये टू नवंबर में हाँ तो ठीक है तो फिर जरा अच्छे तरीके से बताया ना ये तो ऐसे आपने जनरली इंट्रोडक्शन ऐसे बोला सभी स्केप हो गया जैसे ऑलरेडी आपने वो क्रैम्ड था और वो एक ही सीरीज में निकल गया right, तो किसी जगह पे थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेस भी दें दूसरा जैसे वर्दी सर ने जो कहा आपसे यानी कि जॉन नैश इसके बारे में वो मूवी थी द ब्यूटिफुल माइंड या थोड़ी सी मूवीज रेलिवेंट टू मैथमेटिक्स इनको एक नजर देख लें ठीक है उससे क्योंकि यू नेवर नो के वहाँ पे जो है टेस्ट क्या क्या है उस पैनल का वो सवाल आपसे पूछ लेता है थोड़ा सा जोग्राफी में बेटा आपका नॉलेज मैं वही सर की बात कोई आगे लेके बढ़ूंगा कि थोड़ा लोकेशन के बारे में जरा क्लैरिटी लेके आए देखिए माउंटेन रेंजेस सबको पता होती हैं कराक्रम होगी हिमालयाज होगी वगैरह वगैरह तमिलनाडु में नीलग्रेस माउंटेन रेंज है ठीक है सो so, थोड़ा सा इस पर आप देख लें इस तरह सर ने बेस का और गल्फ का पूछा है थोड़ा सा वो रूटीन से हट के आप देख लें ठीक है एंड सेंस योर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स आर सो रिफाइंड आई एम सो वेरी मच इम्प्रेस्ड मैथमेटिक्स में मैंने आपसे पूछा आपने कंडीशनल सेंटेंस पढ़ा है आपने कहा हाँ जी पढ़ा है जी सर ठीक है कितनी टाइप्स होती हैं उसकी डू यू रिमेम्बर सर अभी मुझे कुछ भी ऐसे लग रहा था जैसे आई है एक क्वेश्चन जब आपका ड्रॉप हो जाता है तो आई गेस यू कम्स इन वेरी कन्फ्यूज स्टेट कि आपको लगता है आपने कभी कुछ नहीं पढ़ा लाइक इन्होंने सर ने मुझसे पार्क अफेयर्स पे क्वेश्चन किया तो आई वॉज फीलिंग वेरी गिल्टी की आई शुड नो अबाउट इट तो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट आई हैव forgotten each thing aap mein confidence ki kami nahi hai perhaps ya to aap thoda sa subdue ho gayi hain is formal environment ki wajah se ya aapne recently revisions nahi ki you are out of touch ye sir sir pakistan affairs ki to bilkul nahi ki aur sir geography ki main kar rahi thi jaise sir bata rahe hain to kafi sari cheeze main i knew about it lekin jo aapka result kab aaya tha sir mera result 17 november तो अभी आपके पास जिस सर ने कहा कि तीन दिन हैं तो इनमें आप मेक मोस्ट ऑफ आउट मोस्ट आउट ऑफ इट और जितना मैक्सिमम टाइम आप इसको दे सकते हैं बिकॉज इट्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी थाउजेंड ऑफ पीपल अपीयर एंड फ्यू हंड्रेड मेक इट टू द इंटरव्यू लेवल अब आप उन चोजन फ्यू में आ गए हैं डोंट वेस्ट इट जस्ट फॉर जस्ट लाइक दैट जितनी एफर्ट आप कर सकती हैं वो जरूर करें ताकि कल को आपको एटलीस्ट ये गिलाना हो बाकी अल्लाह के फैसले हैं कि आपने एफर्ट नहीं की ठीक है बेस्ट ऑफ लक थैंक यू वेरी मच सर थैंक यू सर